I'm back. So I'm going to be working on the grayscale. Now because I work, make my grayscale by using phthalo blue and burnt umber, I do get it kind of a natural uh, beige color, but it, it is much different than this one, which has some pretty nice flesh tones, but they are rather orange. So we're going to work on this one today. So I'm going to start by putting a little bit of medium onto the canvas. Now I already have, I'm using the same brush that I used to mix my paint a minute ago. And I'm trying to do this working around the camera. So we'll see how well I do. I'm going to start with my medium value. And I'm just going to get some color on here. You should see it take on a different tone. It should be nice and thin so that you see everything through glaze. So let me see what glazes are. Now if it bubbles a little bit, it probably needs a little more paint and less oil. I'm going to grab a little bit of white just to calm this down up here. And make sure it's not too thick. So if you see the oil separating, you can grab a little white paint on your brush and just kind of smooth it out. Especially if you did a really good job on your underpainting, it's going to have some oil built up on it. But when you're Underpainting is just just nearly finished, you know, hundred percent complete as far as detail. You should have these. Um, the color application is very quick. So maybe I want a little more. Take this gray right here and turn it into a brown shadow. It's kind of dark, but I'm gonna add a little bit right there because I know that I want these to be brown. I don't want them to stay that dark. But I also don't want them to stay gray. So I'm using my darkest shadow color that I made. It's not black. So I'm going over my darker gray. Now I might want to come in and add just the littlest bit of red. And when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. Just to add a little cheek color here. And you notice I'm using a round brush. You don't want our, our hard, flat um, brushes that we use when we're building up the paint. Because we're just putting light layers on top. I'm going to grab a little bit more of my white. Probably put a little bit of red right up in here. You would also put a little blue there just to create those blue undertones that we have under our eyes. But work real slowly. Put the flesh tone back up in there. It takes very little paint when you do this right. Now, it's nice to have a, um, a dry brush when you're painting. 
it's even better to have a blending brush, but this is a dry brush. And you can come in and smooth some of this out so that you don't have streaky oil. Just make sure you don't lose your detail. So hopefully you can see the difference between layer one, there's the grayscale, and then here's where I've added a little bit of color. So you wanna let this dry up. And then, you know, maybe go to work on another area. I could come down to the neck here and work on the neck values. <laughs>
I think that's all I'm going to do today on this one. Um, I'd say it looks pretty good for the first layer of paint. And then I'll mix up some more paint and then we'll go on to um, putting some color value on our earth tone drawing painting.